Hello, my name's Lou Brand, and I'm in the uh, network security class at uh, the University of Illinois at Springfield. And uh, this is the midterm project, and uh, which is again to examine the uh, paranoia novel and its uh, security aspects. Okay, there there were four topics that were available. I selected one, and this is the topic, and the, my that there is a strong engineering versus technology theme in, in Paranoia in the novel. And uh, the question again was, please comment on each and identify which was a more effective tool for penetrating the network. Now, penetrating the network, I think, is a very loose term here applying to this novel, because when we're network people, network security people, we think of uh, something technical going on. But as you'll see here, in my, my opinion, it was overwhelmingly uh, social engineering. And we're asked to provide two examples of each to support that discussion. And again, what I just said is so strong with social engineering, you can come up with uh, uh, unlimited number of uh, uh, examples of social engineering. But when it comes to more technical aspects, aspects they are very, very slim in this book, which is kind of surprising. Well, I guess the book, again, was, was written for the general public anyway. Okay, again, the, this, this is the assertion. My assertion is that social engineering was the more valuable method as opposed to any technical um, aspects for uh, so-called penetrating the network. Okay, this is a definition I found on a very interesting website called socialengineering.org. Uh, it was a pretty impressive, this organization actually gives talks and actually developing a framework that actually defines uh, an uh, ontology for uh, for what exactly is uh, social engineering? And this is their, their this is their definition of social engineering, which I really like because it really removed the uh, a technical aspect of it that technical people like myself we typically uh, tend to uh, uh, grab onto. So the question, you know, what really is social engineering? So they define as the act of influencing a person to accomplish goals that may or may not be in the target's best interest. And this is this is what's rampant in uh, the novel Paranoia. This may include obtaining information, gaining access, or getting the target to take certain actions. Okay, again, my uh, proposal is that social engineering was the key, and again, it was key to the, uh, uh, for, for Adam, the main character, to gain access, physical access to the, to the network was through Triton's facility. He had to uh, display and develop from the social engineering that was gathered by uh, Wyatt and his grooming for him to, to show that he had the skill and the insights to, to be hired initially by Triton. He successfully did that. Further on in, the, in his uh, journey within Triton, he was able to show that he was a valuable player to the, to the owner and his name was Jock. And uh, that, was, that was very important for him to do. He gave, that just gave him more access and, and, and more abilities to use social engineering than he had before. Uh, some of the other information was uh, he got dossiers that were supplied by White that were part of his grooming. So he understood uh, he was able to quickly leverage that information to develop relationships with the key players within uh, Triton. Uh, oftentimes he used badge waving to gain access to restricted areas, access that his badge would not have uh, uh, enabled him, but he was able to use uh, this type of social engineering to get in there. He was able to uh, talk to the security folks and get motion detectors uh, disabled when he, would, when he needed to, um, uh, at the end of the novel, start to uh, get within the uh, restricted area where the Aurora prototype was. Uh, and then when he did some other things here, he was able to leverage a relationship with uh, Triton IT personnel so that he was able to uh, collect emails and phone records that the CFO had uh, created, which uh, were actually part of a bigger uh, social engineering effort by, uh, by Triton uh, themselves against Wyatt. But he didn't know that at the time. Okay, here's, here's technology. So again, I was supposed to come up with two examples. Again, I had a very difficult time coming up with, with examples of technology usage within um, this novel. Certainly the keystroke capture device was critical for him to be able to pick up passwords and other communications that were internal and he was able to get uh, 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 in 
into the CFO's accounts, uh, Nora's account, uh, someone who was a manager, immediate manager for him initially. Um, I'll tell you, again, I'm going to use a wide definition of network penetration or technology. The office copier access was critical, critical for Adam because Triton uh, kept so much of their assets in, on hard copy. Uh, some of those were they were available uh, on, online also, but for the majority of things I saw here, well, they really leveraged hard copy information. So having access to an office copier was uh, critical. You know, so that you really have to stretch that into being uh, uh, a capability for network penetration. The other thing, he, he, the other device he had that was a technical device was uh, he had a, uh, a device called PC Proxy. I assume that's a fictitious that was uh, enabled him to copy Elena's encoded badge, and that was to enable access to the Aurora prototype area, but if I remember correctly, that was never actually used. <laughs> of course, the clock has to ring now. <laughs> okay, so in summary, social engineering was it throughout this whole novel, um, and really it was the trigger event for the whole plot. Again, Adam funded the uh, warehouse workers retirement party by duping the catering firm to thinking he was, I forget what exactly what he was, but he was a, uh, duping him into thinking he was a Triton Systems executive, so he was able to secure funding. Uh, I, I recollect that the uh, security manager for Triton believed that Adam had actually gotten accounting information through uh, hacking. That was never explained and that was never demonstrated. It was only shown that he did that through uh, social engineering. Uh, okay. Certainly, uh, the industrial espionage that went on by Wyatt against Triton was 99% um, uh, uh, social engineering. And then, in, in the twist that the plot has, is that uh, social engineering had been used against Wyatt systems themselves. Oh, sorry, Wyatt Telecommunications, because the honey, and they were able to construct a honeypot called Aurora that uh, brought about the downfall of the Wyatt CEO and eventually the absorption of Wyatt Telecommunications by Triton Systems. Um, and again, I really think, I, I recollect seeing someplace that the book had a different title originally. I couldn't find that again, what that title was, but I really think the title of the book really should have been. Um, uh, social in, uh, beware of social engineering or something more creative because that really was the thrust of the uh, of the book. Thank you very much.